Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Moshe, bringing you guys another video, guys. In today's video, we're covering the final week of Season 3 Battle Pass, guys. Week 10 challenges have been leaked extremely early, and we're going to cover those challenges in today's video. But the main one that I know a lot of people are here for this video is search between a stone circle, wooden bridge, and a red RV, guys. This is one of the hard challenges, but you get 10 points if you do do this challenge. So, again, you get an awesome tier up. It's coming to an end, you guys, so make sure that you actually knock out all the challenges. If you guys haven't seen my other videos, make sure to go check them out. But getting right into the video, as you guys can see on screen right now, that's the bridge. And then the red RV is in the woods right here. So the location of this is going to be right around this location right here. Now, again, this isn't out yet, so we don't know the exact location. But knowing just where all three of these items are in the perfect location where the other locations have been in the past, you can already tell where this one's going to be. Now, depending which side of the map the battle bus is coming on, it's going to be very easy to get here. Again, make sure that you actually die or end up winning the match in order for this challenge to be completed. A lot of people actually find it and they try to back out of the game hoping it works, but it doesn't work like that. You actually have to either die or complete the match completely. So make sure you're not just backing out of the game because then you got to go ahead and do this all over again. Sometimes what I like to do is if I try to ch complete all the challenges quick, I'll literally just get the achievement done and then I'll kill myself. I'll literally build ramps going up and kill myself. But on screen right now, you guys can see this exact location right here that I'm landing is going to be where the star is going to be. Over there, you see the bridge. The RV is over in the woods over there. And right here is exactly where it's going to be located at. So if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up, I appreciate that more than anything. If you guys have friends that need help learning about this location, make sure to show it to your friends. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and subscribe. Now, I know some of you guys actually like to see so as you can see in the background plane right now this is the red rv that you will find in the forest and then if you go up to, on top of the hill over to like where that big tree is you guys are going to see the exact location for the circle of rocks surrounding the tree i know a lot of you guys that play this game frequently you already know all these things you already know all these locations are but this video is for people that don't know so this is the wooden bridge that they were talking about but with that being said guys let's cover the rest of the weekly challenges now the first challenge that you see on the weekly challenge is search chests and fatal fields of course these are going to be difficult when they first drop because a lot of people are trying to knock them out as quick as possible so if you guys want it to be really easy my suggestion is to just relax don't worry about that right away maybe three or four days down the road it'll get a lot easier or just hit it randomly just play the game normally and then throughout time you'll end up getting it completed easily and then the next one on the list is deal headshot damage to opponents now my suggestion is shotguns i know a lot of people it definitely helps out when you're having a shotgun fight to go for headshots because it will make you better you will most of the time one pump people to the head so if you're going to be doing this practice it with your shotgun because not only will you complete the challenge but you will also get better with your shotgun fights because a lot of the good people they only go for headshots because they know if they can get that one pump headshot they're not going to take any damage it's going to help them out in other fights and then the third one is search chest in different name locations now guys different name locations could be anything from tilted towers salty springs retail row anything anything with a name and it's a location you can find a chest there and it's very easy but you have to do 12 of them which is going to be actually really difficult because searching 12 actually no you just got to find 12 chests and you can basically do that probably in two or three games just playing the game out normally it'll end up happening even if you go to fatal fields and find chests there for the first challenge you're going to end up knocking out some of the challenges for the third one but besides that you have to skydive through floating rings this one is completely new completely different and this one sounds pretty cool man i mean if you think about it you're going to be skydiving we used to have to land on different targets on the map now they're going to have rings sitting through the map and you're going to see a whole bunch of people flying through it which is going to be extremely cool now i don't think these rings are going to be all over the place really close to each other because again it's only skydive through 10 floating rings which means they're going to be spaced out through the map so it's going to be probably hitting one ring every time you skydive maybe you can hit two rings i don't know exactly how that one's going to work but again that's just my personal opinion on it and then the next one is the search between a stone circle wooden bridge and red rv but we covered that one so we're going to move on to the next one which is eliminate opponents so you have to basically get 10 eliminations which again just playing the game normally you'll end up getting it easily if you guys want to land at tilted towers and try and knock it out quick that's up to you any anything will work with this one again it just takes time as long as you play the game you'll end up completing it eventually and then the last one is eliminate opponents in pleasant park this one is going to be pretty easy pleasant park is going to be probably packed for the first day that this these challenges release so again my suggestion if you can't deal with all the people there and all the pressure and people getting guns before you i suggest just waiting a day or two letting it die down a little bit and then going there or maybe looting somewhere out of this, the city and then going to the city when you have loot and stuff like that again this is all personal preferences you guys can do this however 
however you want the only hard one i think is going to be the search chest and fatal fields but that one's going to be hard at first once you get once like the three days are up and it starts dying down it's going to be a lot easy but i hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you guys please can give this video a thumbs up i appreciate that more than anything and i will see you guys in tomorrow's video peace